Senator Markey. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. And uh, thank you for this important hearing. And Mr. Schultz, it's uh, good of you to show up. But then again, you face little choice. It's disappointing to me that it took such a long time and required the threat of a subpoena for you to appear before this committee. And it's frankly disrespectful to your hundreds of thousands of employees, uh, but we do appreciate you finally appearing here. All across America, workers are saying that they've had enough rising inequality and outlandish CEO pay for those at the top like you and a paycheck to paycheck subsistence for everyone else. The unionizing Starbucks workers are on the front lines as a groundswell of working and middle class people who are banding together to assert their right to organize, form a union and collectively bargain for their dignity. My father used to tell me that you can't beg for your rights. You have to tell them. He lost his finger in an industrial accident as a young man. There was no OSHA. He just said the boss said, see you next week, John, back on the job. That was before unions. That was before rights were put on the books. And ultimately, that's what Starbucks workers are doing. Workers in Buffalo are the spark that's lit the fire of organizing its locations across the country, including 15 Starbucks locations in, Amer in Massachusetts. The American people are watching. Public support for unions hit a record high late last year with 71% of Americans approving of labor unions. So as you sit here denigrating your workers, you're not just morally and legally wrong, you're in the minority. You're out of touch. Union busting is disgusting. I got the chance this week to meet with Caitlin, who is a Starbucks employee from Gardner, Massachusetts. Like you, Caitlin cares deeply about Starbucks. She originally started working for the company in 2006 and came back to rejoin Starbucks in 2021. When she came back, she saw Starbucks similar to how you describe it in your testimony, a company that had lost its way. She saw a company that now only cared about money mm. at the expense of the health and well-being of its workers. So to help save the Starbucks she once knew and loved, Caitlin and her co-workers formed a union. They wanted to revive a wayward company, make your company better. But you vilify Caitlin and her colleagues for caring. You demonize them for participating in their fundamental right to organize. And worse, you and your company set out to punish Caitlin and her colleagues, withholding benefits and raises, cutting hours, and purposefully understaffing to harm their most dedicated partners. So when you give us 10 pages of testimony extolling the benefits that Starbucks offers its employees, that's not what I see. I see Caitlin. I see you squeezing the people who have made you rich with blatant disregard for the law, perhaps because you think if you can hire the lawyers and pay the union busting consulting firms, you can get away with violating other people's rights, with disregarding their dignity and with silencing working people in America. But here's the thing. If you can pay the lawyers and the consultants and the PR specialists, you can also pay the workers a fair wage. So you say that your father was unfairly fired after he was injured on the job. Your father had no rights and your family paid the price. That is how your workers now feel. They have no rights. They don't want to be like your father who had no rights. They don't want their families to have to pay the price for their children the way your father had to pay a price mm. for his children. Mm. They want rights. Mm. Your father couldn't protect himself. That's all your workers are looking for. Mm. So they can protect themselves and their families so that what happened to your family does not happen to their family. Mm. I don't think you understand that, Mr. Schultz. They're just looking to be mm. someone who can protect themselves mm. in a way your father could not. So, Mr. Schultz, I would just hope that you would understand that. Mm. But I'm afraid you don't. I'm afraid that if you step down as CEO, that you don't understand that these people are afraid that your company will lose its way again mm. and that they need rights 
that don't just come from you, but come from the company. That's what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. It lost its way. You say you're back, mm -hmm. but it could lose its way again. Workers should not be dependent upon you, Mr. Schultz, and your sense of right and wrong. They should be able to have laws, protections, unions mm -hmm. that stand up for them every single day of the year. And that is something I think, Mr. Schultz, that you just fundamentally don't understand. These workers are just like your father, mm -hmm. and they have no rights. Can I respond, sir? 30 seconds. Only 30 seconds. I need more time for that. No, I'm sorry, that's you all. Bring up my father. Every member here is. Bring up my father. You don't understand, sir. My father was a World War II veteran, fought for this country in the South Pacific. You don't understand. I understand yeah, completely. Me, Your me, father yeah. was. Can I finish, sir? Yes, sure. Yeah. Your father served our country yeah. and then a, the company he yeah. worked for. Can I respond, Chairman? Yes, please. Okay. I don't understand. Let me ask you a question, since you cited the union as the answer. Is there a union contract that you personally are aware of that provides comprehensive health insurance, equity in the form of stock option, free college tuition? Is there at $17.50 and an average of $27 with benefits? Are you aware of a co union contract? Sir, answer the question. Of a, of a union contract that has those benefits, sir? Mr. Schultz. Are you aware? Mr. Schultz, here's your testimony. Looking oh, back, looking back, oh, it, Mr. It, Mr. Looking Schultz. back it is clear question? to prior to my return last April, the company had lost its way. I asked you that it question. had fallen under the dangerous I, influence I, of Wall I Street short termism like at, that I had always tried I to. I asked you a question, sir. <laughs> sir. You don't understand. Your testimony says that your own company yeah. lost its way and it will lose its way again unless there's a okay. union in, there in a, to make Senator it Hassan, accountable. Thank you, in Senator Hassan. Post COVID environment. Many, many companies. Right. Mr. Schultz, Mr. Schultz.